Hey, what's going on there, sports car collectors? This is Hoops and Homers, and I'm Tim. Hope everyone's doing okay out there, enjoying uh, the sports that we have. Just finished up college football this past weekend. It was, man, it's, what a nice feeling to uh, to watch college sports again, and also um, hear the marching band play and everything. Man, it was it was a glorious Saturday. I'll tell you that much. And the NFL starting up, and we only got maybe what two weeks left for uh, baseball to be done with. We start the playoffs. There's talks about getting um, potentially fans back into uh, neutral sites. I think they're talking about having playoffs all done at neutral sites. So it should be interesting. Um, and then, of course, we got the NBA going on. Uh, going into the Eastern Conference Championship versus the... And then the Western Conference Championship. Um, that hasn't been settled yet. I think that's tonight. We got um, uh, Clippers and uh, Nuggets going on. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show off a few of the things I got here recently. Um, starting with, um, I picked up two hobby boxes of, uh, Stadium Club, my favorite product. And I'm not going to go through the whole binder, but I mean, you get the picture here. This is just, if you haven't seen them yet, here's some of the cards that they have out here. Here's the box. Vladdy's on the cover there. I picked up two boxes. They were 105 each off of rbicrew.com. Uh, really good mom and pop, uh, card shop, local LCS in Missouri, um, for those of you in Missouri, um, or online, but their, they have their Instagram account and their hobby, um, their influence in the hobby is, is pretty deep on social media. So, uh, check them out, rbicrew.com. I'll put a, uh, link in the description of their shop, but yeah, they're 105 a piece. Uh, it's my favorite product. So I try to give me, um, I don't build a set, but I give me of the cards, players that I admire. Look at this Will Clark card. I mean, does it get any better than that? So awesome. I don't go for the parallels too much, but if I get them, I get them. You know, here's the other ones. I think, oh, there's a Daryl Strawberry one. I think Eric at those back pages probably wants to copy that one. Um, but yeah, just going through them. They always have unique pictures. Here's of uh, McGuire, the Bash Brothers. I remember having that poster as a kid, him and Conseco. Uh, there's a nice Griffey one. Uh, no, uh, so each box comes with two autos, um, and they think the most common parallel is, so the name is red, so the red parallel is most common. There's gold, there's black, there's orange, um, but yeah, there's all sorts of ones. Well, sorry if I sound out of breath here, I just got them working out, so I wanted to make this video real quickly after I got them working out. But here's, here's Stremski with his uncle, sweet card. And, yeah, that's about it, you know? And I keep all of my stadium clubs going back to, you know, the, the 80s. And then here's 2017, 2019, 2019s. But, yeah, that's it. Pick that up. So there's stadium club cards. Finally put that away. That's been sitting on my dresser forever. Now the rest of the stuff I got are auction wins and a Com C. And then one big card that I did a purchase on from selling something. I probably those funds into a, a card I've been eyeballing for like, I would say about a year. It's been sitting on eBay. No one's touched it. But I got my very first care package ever. So it's pretty sweet. Um, Eric, those back pages. That's for you, buddy. <laughs> I got that card. He, he re I reached out to him. I said, man, can I trade you some of that card? He goes, just give me your email address, and I'll send it to you. His channel is uh, exceptional, to put it mildly. Um, he's done so much for the community, his kindness, and just being an all-around good dude and sharing his knowledge. He wrote, uh, Tim, love your username, hashtag share your knowledge, hashtag you matter, stay safe. So thank you, Eric. I will also put a link to Eric's channel, those back pages, in the description, along with the rbicrew.com. Um, let's see what we got from this stack here. Okay, so we're gonna go through some of the top loaded stuff I put up. I got from uh Stadium Club again, two autographs per box. My luck, I got uh four rookie pitchers, all autographs, and they're all on eBay right now, so nothing to brag about. But they all got bids on them, so um, with that being said, talking about rookies, you know, this year a lot of um players got called up, right. And I just found out from another channel that 
it looks like a lot of those players potentially could not are not going to be in Tops Update. Um, they're saving them for 2021 Top Series 1. So if you're planning on spending a lot of money um, and getting a jumbo box for like $300 or whatever the cost was, like I was, I was just going to get one jumbo box and be done, try to get as many of the rookies as I can, um, potentially not be in there. So save yourself some money, maybe pass on uh, Tops Update this year. And then secondly, uh, back in 2018, I bought... Um, a lot of Bowman Chrome first refractors. Now I kind of keep track of um, who's who's in the top 25 usually um, on the radar for minor league prospects, and then I just sit on those cards. This year, from those 2018 um, year of Bowman first Chrome, I actually submitted them back in February. I got them back, and I sold quite a bit. Made some really good money and flipped, all, flipped that money into cards um, that I want to get. You know, or, or that where I was, I just didn't have expendable uh, or disposable cash for. Um, so this is something that you may want to think about doing. You know, buying the cards raw, checking them out, sitting on them, and um, you know, submitting them for grading. Because right now, I've I've been priced out of uh, buying any Bowman draft boxes. I mean. 2019s were four hundred dollars. That, that, that's insane. For there wasn't even a jumbo box. That was not even a jumbo box. Regular hobby box. So keep your eyes peeled on eBay or Com C or uh, Beckett. You know they got those. Um, you know you can go on there and um, pick out your cards and you know just keep your eye on them and it's a good way to you know make some extra cash for uh, uh, buying the cards you really want. All right, back to uh, Stadium Club now. So this is one I got in the box. This is the chrome variation of uh, Griffey. That shine is not coming out too well. Um, that lighting didn't do it either. Let's get this blinds going up. I think it should help. A little bit better light. Nah, I didn't do it justice, but it's a chrome refractor of Griffey. I just put in a Griffey PC. Pretty sweet card. Next, Jordan Alvarez. Here's that red variation I was telling you about. Put these off the side here. Here's the base of the Jordan. Trent Grissom. I think he had a uh, he had a grand slam to win it for the Padres last year or uh, last night. And did you see the catch by Kyle Lewis? Rob Loriano of a home run. A grand slam. We're out of a grand slam. Crazy. Keno, he's back up. He finally got uh, called back up. Let's move Eric right up there so everyone can see him. Move him a little closer. Hello, friends. All right. Keno Chrome. Got that in one of the hobby boxes. Kevin Lux. Dylan Sees. I love this card. It's going into White Sox PC. Pull to Robert, so that was nice. Not the chrome, but the base, I'm happy. The black one is really nice, but it's like going for like 300 on eBay. That's okay, I don't need it that bad. It's a really nice one, a Boba Shed too, huh? Nice card. It's Boba Shed. This is one of the inserts that smash. Smash and burn. Smash and burn, whatever. I'm not really big on the insets. Inserts. I just like the base cards. So really, it's all about the photography for me. I love it. So next up, we got a uh, 2017 uh, Anthony Rendon Sapphire. Sorry, 2016 um, Sapphire Rendon. Uh, sapphires in general are hard to pick up for under ten dollars, and I won this for three dollars shipped, and just a really sharp card. The blue sapphire. I don't know if this is the first year they came out, 2016, but yeah, it's a pretty sharp card. Couldn't pass that one up. And this is this year's chrome variation of um, Juan Soto in the World Series after Bregman was being a little smart ass and threw his bat the first base way. Uh, Soto decided to do the same thing when he hit his home run, so I loved it. Great card. Uh, 
Next up, Tops Now. First no hitter of the year, Luis Giolito. Had to pick it up and it came quick. I'm actually starting to get a lot of uh, um, of my Tops uh, 2020 project stuff in now. But yeah, got it for the Sox PC. They do a little, and you really can't see it. This is, there it is, a little bit if he catches it. It's just a little top logo and the, the little shine there, but yeah, I had to add that to the PC for the White Sox. Got this for a dollar. This is Topps Archives, the 1960s um, Rookie Cup or All-Star Trophy. Uh, I got that Eloy. And then Sepia of this year's Chrome of Eloy. These are actually getting, these used to be really cheap last year on eBay, and now they're expensive, just like anything else. Um, yeah, I'm not complaining, I hate complaining about how the hobbies change, and everything's expensive, I can't get my hands on shit, but um, yeah, you know, it is what it is, just collect what you love, like everyone says. It'll come back someday. Uh, a couple more that we got here, here's um, Tatis Sepia this year, Tops Chrome. Next card. And then this year's Mosaic NBA debut, Tyler Hero from Kentucky. This is the, I don't know if it's red or orange Pulsar, one or the other. Maybe a red Pulsar, but they had a heck of a series against, uh, who did they just beat to get it? They're playing the Celtics now for the Eastern Conference Championship, but whoever they played in the previous round, um, man, he was on fire. This is, this one, this next one is actually one, I was rummaging through a box and I happened to come across, I must have had it like a long time ago, but here's a stadium club, uh, 96, 97, um, or maybe it's just 96, stadium club, Kobe Bryant rookie, checked it out with a loop, the corners are pretty good, I'm going to for sitting in, you know, a 500 count box all these years. Next is another auction, is an auction win. This is from uh, Panini Chronicles, Basketball, Luminance of John Morant. Maybe the pitcher of the year. Give me that Kevin Love love. <laughs> Sweet card. I had to pick that up. This was a really good price on this one. So I got this $15 shipped. That was a really good price for a John Morant card. A couple days before he was announced rookie of the year. All right, next up, we got a couple um, Project 2020 cards that came in. Um, just another little piece of advice on the Project 2020. If you really want to collect those, um, you know, you can find them at a very good price on eBay, especially if for myself. So I'm only really collecting like Don C or um, Old Man Allen. Which, well, I'll show those off first. So here's an Old Man Allen style one. This is the Griffey. That was a great card. Nice and clean looking card. Great photo. Here's the back. There's Old Man Allen. So I've been collecting his because I like his style of photography on, on the toy. Excuse me, on the 2020s. I also like Don C. He's the other one. Other than uh, Blake Jameson. Blank Jenison, I only have the Griffey, not the Griffey, um, Ricky Henderson and the Mike Trout. And Don C now, I've got the Griffey, well, it's like a beach in the Mariners, it's a beach and like water coming up is a picture. And this is the Ted Williams one in the clouds. I thought that was a beautiful card. And then the next one, it'll be coming in the mail, that's the last one I have waiting on, is, um, is a Tony Gwynn one, which is like done on a Louisville Slugger bat. Looks really awesome. Very sweet card. But I had to get this one for the Sox PC. There's a Keith Shore, the no name, Frank Thomas. He threw the Poe Jackson in there, which I love. That was a great card. And then I picked up a few Nolan Arnados for the PC. Um, he's not having the best season, but. Um, that helps me because then his prices are not that expensive. So here's a few. Pick up his Topps Living card. I think he's a potential Hall of Famer someday. He's one of the best third basemen around. Everyone knows that. 
maybe a future Hall of Famer, but I still like his style of play. Here's his Trophy Cup. Uh, All-Star Rookie from Heritage. Got his Bowman Chrome Rookie Refractor. A little off-center, but nice to have in the PC. I'm not going to get graded anyway. And then I picked up his 2013 Bowman Platinum, the Purple Refractor. This is probably the highlight of the collection there. Nice card. Doesn't really catch the shine like it should, but it goes a little bit. But yeah, nice card. Then next we have uh, the Phillies just retired um, Dick Allen's jersey. So I was watching MLB Network, checking out some of his cards online. And, um, you know, he won uh, the MVP award in 1972 uh, with the White Sox. So I picked up one of his 1973 tops. Home run leaders with him and Johnny Bench. I think Dick Allen has a really good shot of going to the Hall of Fame, being voted in by the players. Um, you know, when his time comes. So I thought it was a, a good price. Nice card to have. Add to the White Sox PC. Uh, and then we got two more here. I appreciate you being patient. I know this is a little bit of a longer video. I try to keep these under 10 minutes. This is a Comp C order. After watching Game 1. And closely following most of the season, especially when the bubble started, of uh, the Denver Nuggets, Jamal Murray. The man is very, very good for the game. Very well-spoken, intelligent guy, motivator, leader in the clubhouse or the locker room. Um, I've been priced off his rookie, so I went and started looking at his second-year cards. And then what other, other cards I can match that were the Prism version or refractor version of his jersey. So this is his second year prism and the blue variation. It's a nice card. I'm really, really, really big on Jamal Murray. You know, he had, of course he had two 50 point games in the playoffs um, in the first round, but um, the way he's keeping uh, the Nuggets in it with the Joker against, um, my opinion, a much better Clippers team uh, has just been great. Here is this year's, no, last year's, 2018-2019 uh, Donruss Blue Wave, 24 out of 49. Nice blue card there. I don't, I'm not going to do this angle again because none of uh, my reflection, these refractors are really showing up the way they should. This is the first time I'm trying this new angle here. So we'll be moving on from this spot. <laughs> Uh, next year is this year's um, this year's uh, Jamal Murray for uh, Panini Prism. It is the blue wave, and it is number one forty three out of one ninety nine. It's a nice blue wave card. I love when the the refractor goes along with the uniform. I think everyone does. I got a nice Tatum rookie that's green that I got sent off the PSA. I went to see what how that comes back is. There's the number. And then lastly, this year's optic. Oh no, last year's optic. No. 2017-2018, his second year optic, um, orange refractor. It is 173 out of 199. And it's the orange wave. Nice card. Now, other than maybe, I've checked all these over. All the corners are very good. Um, with the exception, no, all the corners were good on these. Exception of centering on all of them. Centering is not 100%. This might be good. Uh, top to bottom, that's a no-go. Centering, top to bottom on this one, maybe a no-go. Centering this one might be good. I may get these graded, just keep them in the PC. But I got all these cards on Comp C for under $60. Um, not including shipping. With shipping, I think it was uh, an extra $5. So $65 for all those. But I'm pretty happy that I didn't have any Jamal Murray cards, so... It's a nice little base to start with. And then lastly, the big dog. This is a card I said, like I said earlier, I was waiting almost a year for this card. I ended up selling some uh, cards that got graded. And I said, yes, I want this in my collection. As some of you know, I have a nice little golf collection started. And I'm adding to it today with this front nine triple swatch combo from Upper Deck SP, 
It's number eight out of 10 of Arnold Palmer and uh, Jack Nicholas. And it's a triple swatch. So if you see right there, you have his shirt, his cap, and then their gloves. And they still got like the black marking from like the grips on the club. Or maybe even the sweat and nails, those gloves. But man, what a great card. Corners are crisp. Excellent card. I was so happy to have this. The King and the Golden Bear together. Now the only question is, who do I grade this with? Uh, I don't care about the grade. I just want to get it encapsulated, you know. Um, and from what I'm researching, it says that, you know, for relics, Beckett's the way to go. I'm not a fan of Beckett grading. I don't have, I have one Beckett card and um, that's it, you know. Um, so I don't know if PSA or SGC does it, but if you've got any advice out there, I'd love to hear if you leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you tuning in, uh, watching. Uh, very happy to have this in my collection. Uh, again, stay safe out there. Collect what you want, not what you need. And have a great day. Later.